Peter Hummel, also known as Peter Piper, plays the pipes almost every day in the southern Ontario town of Fergus. I am a firm believer in support and frontline workers. The purpose for me was to gather support for them. The town isn't shy about its Scottish roots. And now Peter has become a staple with his evening shows. Since Pete's been playing, it's brought us together and we, um, we've... One big family. Yeah, we're yeah. one big family now. The intent was to spread joy, but it turns out some neighbours would rather not hear the pipes. I can't watch TV, I have to close the windows. This neighbour says that in fact, it's the backyard practices that are the most disruptive. Nothing against bagpipes if you want to play them, but respect your neighbours. Splinter is one of two neighbours who told CBC News they filed formal noise complaints. It started to get like, you know, lots of vulgarity, lots of swearing, air horns going off, uh, quasi threats about, you know, what, the, where the bagpipes could go. I've sworn at him a few times. That's just out of frustration because he wouldn't quit. I'm, I'm sorry for doing that, but I mean, if he wants to be ignorant, then I'll be ignorant back. With the help of a friend, Peter had this lawn sign made. More than 85 were sold for charity throughout the region. Everyone knows piping isn't a crime. Peter says he received a total of five visits from provincial police and regional bylaw informing him of noise complaints. He was told he wasn't breaking any rules. You're not allowed to do noises that might impact your neighbours after 9 o'clock. Um, but at 7 o'clock there is no real bylaw. So I kind of said... <laughs> I'm not going to stop doing this till the pandemic's over. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Peter has since toned down the outdoor practice time and the complaints have stopped for now. Haligo name, CBC News, Fergus, Ontario.